Hey guys, this is Froggy2K9 and today I'm going to be talking about Season 2 of The Walking Dead. Now, this is going to contain a lot of spoilers, so if you don't want to know about it, then uh, watch the first bit. I'll just give you a heads up when I'm actually going to start talking about it itself. Okay, so the first things first is there's there's better control over the characters. It's it's more complex. Is well, sorry, it's less complex than the original storyline. It's a little bit more focused, and you, you learn a bit more about the people themselves, as as they are, as in their their specific feelings on this situation. So you get a better understanding. They've also worked a little bit harder on the zombies to make them a little bit more realistic. Not that they weren't in the beginning, because they're a lot better than the majority of zombies that you see on TV. Especially when it comes to certain circumstances like bleeding. Zombies don't bleed for a reason, they have no heartbeat. Some zombie movies, you see them walking down the road or walking along a room or something like that, and there'll be blood everywhere and they'll just be oozing with blood, and it's like that. No, no, they don't have a heartbeat, so. How can that happen? So, here's where I'm actually going to start talking about the story, and the spoilers are going to start here, so... Click off if you want. I don't mind. Just my thoughts are, I absolutely love the series, and I would recommend it to anyone that hasn't got an easy stomach. If you, you are easily, easily frightened, or you throw up quickly, at any side of blood or at the side of anything sick, then don't watch it. But if you like horror type movies or if you like uh, survival type horrors, things generally like that, G uh, good storylines, but you don't mind gore or anything like that included in it, then it's the place to go. Okay, so click off now if you don't want to hear spoilers. Okay, so first of all, in the first in the first season, they never less they never left the their city. I think it's Atlanta. They never left the city. They were always at a uh, at a quarry just outside the city. There's uh, this place where they got they went to, and they stayed there for a long time. So they decided to move on after they talked to a scientist in the first season. And he said something to him. This made them want to move on. To go somewhere else. To do something. So. They moved on. But. Down the highway. They reached. A blockage. Basically the highway was full. Of cars. That had just been abandoned. Naturally. I saw it coming. It was not really well hidden. No, something you just expected to happen. But. It was good, it was alright. Refilled with supplies and stuff from other cars. But then something happened. Again, I kind of expected it. I didn't expect it in the way they put it across, but... They found a new type of sort of... They found a new a new system of naming their zombies. Basically, uh, they call a big group of them a herd. They come up with his name accidentally. It was quite funny the way they come up with it, but it was like they were walking along like a herd, and it was like, yeah, let's use that. That's a good, that's a good idea of what to call them, a herd. So their new their new name for groups of zombies that walk together is a herd. Basically, while this herd was coming along the road, they had to hide, and they had to hide fast. So they decided underneath the cars. It was an okay plan until the little girl that was with them screamed. And the zombie gone down. The zombie tried to crash her under the car, she ran off. So the guy ran off after her. They managed to uh well he managed to guide the zombies away, the two that were after the little girl. He killed them, but by the time he got back to where he left her, she was gone. She was just gone. This started a little feud in the in between the survivors themselves. They started getting they started against each other, but in the end, they managed to pull themselves back together and start working as a team again. But there was still this feud that went on between them. And then um, the mother of the the mother of the boy there 
she managed to uh, she managed to say something which got their attention, got them to realize what what exactly is happening and why they are completely wrong in what they're doing. While walking along, they they uh, a church bell rang. Obviously, they were like, it's either her, in which case she's going to attract a shit ton of zombies. Or it's uh, or it's just a random church bell. So, by the way, the audio failed there. If there's a little glitch or anything, so uh, the audio failed. So I decided to, instead of recording the whole thing again, just record this bit. So, continuing on, uh, they walk up to the church, and it turns out there are zombies in the church. They kill the zombies. Whatever it happens, happens. It was expected there were zombies in there. I expected some zombies in there. Again, another cliche thing that happened. Very expected. Not very imaginative. Right. But while they were searching for the girl, they found a tent. Now, this was a very high tension moment as she, they got the mother to call out into the tent. There was no answer. Paul it back very slowly. I expected a zombie to just jump out at the... Us. That's what I was expecting, but it turns out it didn't. I was wrong. What happened was they just found a dead guy who had chosen the easy way out. Just a dead guy that chose an easy way out. I was like, well, that was more interesting. That was a bit less cliche than what happened before. So, well done to you. Keep up the good work. You might, I might be able to get through this. Now I knew that there was going to be one episode in, in no matter what season it was, I knew there was going to be one episode where I was going to get this view and I was going to get this from from them. A cliche episode because it's going to happen eventually, it, it's got to. There's no way of getting around it unless you are extremely talented at writing your way around cliches and uh, you know it sort of situations. It's, it's gonna happen, so. But, the end of that episode really got me. I can't wait for the next episode because I wanna know. I just wanna know. This is a big spoiler, right? The boy, the boy, and his dad, and the random redneck type guy walking through the woods stumbled across a deer right stopped him from killing the deer because it was number one the deer was okay the deer was fine so but the kid was amazed it's just I would be amazed I would just be like wow look at that such a beautiful animal and I'd go up and try and touch it this is what the kid tried to do while walking up to it, I was the tension was building. I was so expecting a zombie to just pop out of the wood and grab hold of him, start ripping him to pieces. But what actually happened was a bullet went through the deer and hit the boy. I want to know if he survives. I want to know what happens next. I want to know if a zombie comes out of nowhere and they they end up having to drop him. I want to know what happens next. I want to know. I can't wait for the next episode. It's been Froggy2K9. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.